What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm going to be responding to Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn, if you have not seen any of my other videos on her, I would suggest watching those maybe before you get here because you might be kind of confused. But she recently put out another mukbang. <laughs> I'm just going to call it mukbang from now on because I am that's just what I'm going to call it. So she put out another mukbang uh, video and then it, about half of the video she is talking about me, talking about our private conversations. And now honestly like when I first saw the video I wasn't sure if I wanted to make like a response video or anything like that but then the more I watched the video the more I realized that I, I really felt like I was being misrepresented in that video so I just kind of wanted to explain my points to you guys and then also to her because I'm sure she'll end up seeing this video so before we even get into her video I want to make it very clear that I am not just some like hater that is trying to be mean to her or trying to be rude or trying to be ruthless I genuinely more than anything in the world for her would like for her to get healthy I, I there's nothing more like that's what I want that is my end goal is to help her lose weight and the only reason I say that, it's not because she's someone that's overweight and I feel like everyone that's overweight needs to lose weight. It's because it's very clear in her videos and it's very clear in the stuff that she puts out that that is probably the main goal in her life is to lose weight. And it has been for the past few years. And that's what I am here to do. That's what I'm here to try and help with. So again, I just want to make it very clear. I'm not someone that's just trying to hate to be mean because I don't like overweight people or something like that. That's not at all what I'm trying to do. This obese to beast made another video um kind of talking about mukbangs like obese people doing mukbangs and like mixing weight loss with mukbangs so i personally messaged him um because we have talked in private before i messaged him and just been like i just asked him like why couldn't you tell me like in a message that you Everything you said in the video, why couldn't you tell me? So a point that she makes is that, you know, why did I make a video instead of messaging her? And I, I completely understand that criticism. I understand that line of thought. I would have felt the same exact way if I was in her position, which I technically am now, right? Why, why not just message me instead of making a video? Now, the reason, like, what I said to her in the DMs was, I've tried to DM you, I have tried to give you help, I've tried to do that in private, and every time I would try and help, she always wanted to make it a public thing. She always wanted to tell everyone. She always wanted to explain everything that's going on. Again, that's completely her choice, but I realized that when I was trying to help in private, it didn't matter anyways, it was getting out in public anyways. So the reason that I made the video was because one, it's going to get her attention, right? And she's gonna have to at least notice it and, and hear my points out and at least like know that other people out there are listening to what I'm saying because for me if I'm just messaging her right that's the only person that's hearing what I'm saying and hearing the the ideas and the thoughts that I have but if I make a video she's able to hear that but then there's tons of other people that are able to hear it as well so obviously I, I understand why someone would be kind of annoyed or upset with you know making a video instead of doing it in the DMs but again like I told her trying to do things in the DMs wasn't working and there was there was no there was no adherence to it at all anyways so I thought if I made a video it would force at least a reaction and at least force her to listen to what I had to say would you do it again that's up to her but at least it forced you know a reaction and other people were able to hear that information anyway Anyways, because I think it's good information. He answered, obviously. Then um, he explained that like mukbangs shouldn't be done by people on a weight loss journey because um, that's the only things that the viewers see. That makes sense and all. My whole thing is like, first of all, this is my life. I'm an adult. I can choose what I want to do versus what I don't want to do. And like another big thing is like, just because you are seeing one meal out of the what 15 I have in a week, how is that going to decipher everything. Do you get what I'm saying? And then when it comes to the mukbangs, like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't have an issue with somebody that is morbidly obese, that is just doing a mukbang and they're not at all trying to state that they're trying to lose weight. They're not at all, there's no other intentions for their channel, right? Their channel is about them eating food. That's fine. I don't have an issue with that. What I am saying and what I told her was the reason that you're getting criticism is because when you're doing mukbangs, 
it is like the polar opposite of all the other content that you're putting out. And this is for anybody, right? If you're doing a mukbang and you're eating thousands of calories of food, or even if it's just hundreds of calories, it is completely going against everything else that you're putting, you know, out on your channels. All the other content you're putting out is, you know, weight loss, trying to lose weight. Again, can you lose weight while still eating big meals like that? Absolutely, I am not saying that you can't, and I think it would be silly. I eat meals that are, you know, over a thousand calories all the time. But at one, I don't put that on the internet, and two, if I started doing that and I started getting hate, I would completely understand why people feel the way that they feel. The point I was trying to make is that if you're going to put this out there, you're going to have to deal with the criticism and you can't really be upset with people saying what they're saying because again, it's perception. If they're not seeing, if nobody else is seeing the other meals that you're eating that you know you say are smaller, 200, 300 calorie meals, all, all the people are seeing are you eating these big meals. And in turn, all they're seeing is you gaining weight. So when you put those two things together, people just think that you're just using it as, a, as an excuse to eat a lot of food on camera. As I've stated before, weight loss is already incredibly difficult. And then putting that weight loss on a, you know, a platform like YouTube, when you have thousands of people watching you, that already puts more stress on it. And then you end up adding to that by doing these mukbangs, mukbangs, whatever you want to call it, you end up adding stress to that because you're going to deal with those comments. And again, this isn't just about Amberlynn. This is about anybody that I've seen do it. I just don't think it's the best idea. Does that mean you can't do it? Absolutely not. But those are just, that's just my two cents. There are skinny mukbangers out there. They don't gain, they don't gain weight at all. Um, there have been mukbangers out there who have lost weight. It is a thing. It's not something that's crazy. It's easy to gain weight doing it, obviously, but it's also not that hard to lose weight while doing it. Now, obviously there are tons of different sizes of people that are doing these mukbangs, but the issue is that if you are struggling with binge eating, I just don't think that it's a good idea to be putting yourself on camera, especially when in other videos, you're stating that you struggle with binge eating and that you are binge eating a lot. Because I could see these mukbangs or mukbangs, you, I could see them working if you were doing them maybe once a month, if you were, weren't doing them very frequently, but when they become very frequent, it's just hard to look past that as a viewer. We're kind of just over people only supporting us when we're doing what they want us to do. That's just not how life works. You either like us or you don't, or you support us or you don't. Now, when I heard this part of the video, I think that this kind of perfectly explains the mindset that people can get into when you are, you know, you're morbidly obese and you just want, you like, feel like you just can't lose the weight. And that's what I, that's exactly kind of how I felt when I was trying to lose the weight, but I just was always failing. So then I was just like, whenever, you know, the perfect example is, is for me is when my mom would bring it up. My mom loves me more than anything on the planet. She loves me and I love her. She is the best person in the, on the entire planet. I love her, right? And she would bring up my weight. A lot of times she would bring up my weight and she would be crying, but because I was in so much denial, I felt like I was getting attacked. Now my mom, all she wants to do is see me live. She, she obviously would never wish any ill will on me, but in my head, I felt like I was being attacked when that is absolutely not what's going on. I think just expecting people to support you no matter what you do is, it's just not realistic because even for me, right? If I, you guys know that I am very much against fat burners. It's not something that I like, but if I started to promote them and then I was getting backlash for that, which I hope I would, right? And then I got upset and be like, well, you guys are my supporters. You should support everything that I do. But if everything in the past has said that I don't support fat burners and then I start selling them, Obviously, right, I would hope that people would be like, I support you, but this is not you. This is not what you have said in the past. And I think that's the, that, Amberlynn, that's the reason that people are, you know, saying what they're saying is because all of your past videos have been you struggling with weight loss, you wanting to lose weight. And then all of a sudden, if you're trying to shift into being like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna eat myself to death. I know that sounds dramatic, but that's exactly what's happening. Obviously, people that care about you, not just haters, are gonna be like, yo, that is not what you've been saying, and that's obviously not what you need to do. Because no matter what, if you're over 500 pounds, that is very, very unhealthy, and you are eating yourself to an early grave. 
And for people to call you out on that, that doesn't mean that they're haters, that means that they're concerned people. Obviously, are there going to be haters? Yes, absolutely. I've definitely seen some of the comments. There's definitely people that are just being rude, but I would say from what I've seen, the vast majority are people that are actually concerned about your health and are concerned about you living longer. I can say that 100% fact for me is I don't, I'm not here, like more than anything on the planet for you, I want to see you succeed and lose weight. Period. Now we're gonna skip a good amount of the video because she kind of just talks about stuff that isn't related to this at all. But what she says here towards the end of the video is literally exactly what I would recommend for her to do anyways. And plus sometimes I feel like me broadcasting it so much is what makes me fail. I feel like if I just work behind the scenes and work on my eating disorder and like my brain and my weight loss in private, then that'll help because there won't be so much pressure on me, but who knows. This is my advice to her from the very start. The very first met time that we messaged, I gave her all the advice that I had and I said, honestly, one, you don't even have to mention that I am here helping you, and two, don't post about this. Don't post about what you're doing. You don't need to say exactly what you're doing. If you want to keep some things private, that's a good idea. Now, am I saying that she has to completely, you know, disappear from the internet and not post anymore? No, but she doesn't have to explain every single little thing she's doing. Like, imagine if she was, you know, not gone, but wasn't posting that much, and then two weeks later, she comes back and she's lost like 15 pounds, and she's able to show it. She's able to show proof of that. I really do think that the people that are watching her videos, I really do think the people that are watching your videos, Amberlynn, would be happy for you. I know it might seem that a lot of people, you know, see you as a lost cause or that you have no hope or that you're not even trying. I don't, I don't believe that. I, I know that for me, there was a time in my life where I thought I'm gonna die before I'm 40. I thought that, you know, I was gonna have a heart attack. Like there was a time where I just accepted that and that was, that was it for me and I wasn't even trying to lose weight. And so I think the fact that you're at least putting it out there that you're trying is at least some sign of, there's at least a want there and a belief that you can. And I, again, I know that there's a lot of comments of people saying that you can't or that you won't, but I, I genuinely do think that nobody is ever too far gone. I mean, it's, there's definitely a lot of work to be done, but I, I really, really don't believe that you're a lost cause. And I really, really hope that this video, you don't watch it and just think to yourself, oh my gosh, he's so, he's such a hater or, he, you know, he's just doing this to get views or whatever. Like, I really do hope that you watch this video and you understand, at least through this video, that there's at least one person. Again, I really do think that there's a lot of people that are actually rooting for you, but are getting to a point where, you know, in this video, you are almost like making fun of the people that are supporting you. And you're almost saying like, I don't care who's supporting me, I'm gonna do whatever I want, when your whole channel has been based on you wanting to lose weight. So of course, people are going to be rooting for you when you're losing weight, and when you're gaining weight, they're gonna be like, hey, like, let's turn this around, let's figure this out. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. But those are just my thoughts. Again, I just wanted to kind of come in here and not really clear up my name, but just kind of explain exactly kind of what was going on behind the scenes. And one, like I understand that these videos are different than what I've made in the past. Like I've never really done videos where I'm like responding to people or anything like that. And I understand that there's probably some people that have watched my videos for years that are like, I w did not come here for this. And I, I, I totally understand that, I get that, I, I really do understand where you're coming from. But at the same time, like, yeah, obviously these videos have been getting more views than I've ever really got in videos. But what is really cool about that is that there's tons of people that are coming to the channel. Obviously not everybody is sticking around. There are people that just like drama, which I understand it is what it is, right? But there are a good amount of people that are going back because I'm able to see all the comments on all the videos. There are people going that are going back to videos that I made two years ago, three years ago, that are, you know, helpful weight loss videos that are saying like, these videos are really helping me. And so for me, me, it's like I understand that it's like drama and people don't really like that but I'm actually being I'm actually been able to reach people that I've never been able to reach before because Amberlynn does have a ton of people that are following her that are trying to lose weight and they probably would have never heard of me if it wasn't for these videos so again it's kind of a double-edged sword I understand where people are coming from with being annoyed with these videos but at the same time like my goal is to help as many people as possible and normally I'm not gonna reach the people that Amberlynn is going to reach but now I've been able to do that so for me it's I'm trying to kind of figure out exactly what I want to do, but 
I am happy that I'm able to reach more people and that, you know, that's obviously my goal here. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to say at the end of the video, please, we don't need to leave any hate. If you have anything that you want to say, leave it down here in the comment section, you know, whatever you might think, if you agree, if you disagree, whatever, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, but again, please keep it civil. This is not a hate channel. I'm not trying to spread hate or anything like that. But again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look up if I am. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.